Hi, it's Nigel Baker from CNTM here, and in this course, we're going to just run through the different types of super funds that are available to you. Now, it's really important to understand that every super fund has the same overall structure, really, and that it's it's a it's a basically an entity that's in your name. Now, you and the different types of funds really are all about the different types of control that you perhaps have over that fund. So, effectively, you've got a, a fund. You've got your money in a in a super fund. And this is your money. Your money goes in there from your employer, which is called your super guarantee, superannuation guarantee. Um, and that's how much goes in out of your pay slip. Every week you'll see that go into your super fund. And this money in here then starts to get invested and you get to choose what that happens. So the structure of this is it's your fund and it's got a trustee. It has to run by all the rules around super, the specific rules around a super fund different to every other entity. But effectively this is yours. It's your name on here and it's your money. And one day when you retire, you can take this money out of the super fund and you can take out some, some income to live off or you can take out some of the capital. Now, if you're younger now, it seems like a long way away, so it's really important you take some interest in this even if you've got a dollar in it. If you're 60 and you're not really sure, then even more important because there's some really key rules that happen when you retire to get the most out of this. And in the in between, you've really got to understand how super works because it's a significant asset of, of, for you and it's got some great benefits. It's really important to take some interest in it. So really simple structure, really. Um, you can't, we're going to get into how you can get money in and out of it. But today we're going to just talk about the different types of funds that we hear about and advertise. So you've got Effectively, one big group of funds you've got is are called industry super funds. Now, these are typically they started off um, as you could only get into them if you were a teacher or a healthcare worker or a builder or whatever. Now, your industry, now when super started, it was compulsory. Started off with government employees, and then big industries uh, offered super as well. Then it became compulsory for everyone. Um, so these industry super funds started off as sort of member based. Um, and now they're huge, you know, they're massive, massive um, uh, funds, um, millions of people in them, and they, you know, they advertise a lot, and they do a pretty good job, you know, so they've got relatively low cost, but you've still got to check out really what you're invested in, uh, and they're very simple, you know, so they, they do a certain job for you. Um, then you've got what we would normally call retail. So those that weren't in these industry funds, uh, they were using funds that generally were sort of run by banks or insurance companies, I think you give you AMPs, MLCs, uh, all the big banks had these type of funds. Um, and again, they, they have the same sort of structure. They tended to be a bit more expensive, not necessarily today, but that's the case. And they might have been had commissions and things in them as well, which obviously has been outlawed now. But so they uh, most of those have sort of gone. There's still a lot around. If you've got a retail fund, it's worth checking. They tend to still be a little bit expensive, not always, uh, but worth checking it out. Um, and then generally speaking, you've got what's called a, a self-managed super fund now. When we go back to the page before, the only difference between these funds, so industry retail fund and a self-managed super fund, it's really what we're talking about here is the trustee. So an industry super fund, you've got a big a board that acts as a trustee, the retail, it's a company that is, is owned in some way formed by the bank or the insurance company. In a self-managed super fund, you're the trustee or you and your partner. Um, and so that's all it is. I always think they shouldn't be called self-managed, it should be called self-trustee, it should be STSF in my view, um, because that's all that really changes. And most people uh, tend to outsource the management of that fund to the accountant, advisor, um, not, they might do a bit of it themselves. And a lot of people are fearful of using that system, but there's lots and lots of these funds. And they, they started out because people were sort of getting, these these type of options were a bit not very flexible back in the day, didn't give you many options, and so people opened up a self-managed super fund so they could have shares or property and have a bit more control over it. So they're your main three types. Um, there are some others, but that's what we see most people in. You can have some uh, old employer funds, which is not many of those anymore. So if you worked for Telstra or some of that, you have, had their own funds. Most of those got wound up. And you can also have what's called a, um, a defined benefit fund. So these are all funds that you can access. Defined benefit funds still exist, mainly with governments where um, it wasn't sort of a, a money that you managed. It was just a set amount of income that you got. So you retired and got you know X amount of income for the rest of your life. And so they still exist not as common anymore as they were sort of 20 years ago. So I hope that helps. Again, all these different types of funds are all covered by the same law. So it's not like one's got different law over the others. They have some slight different features, but it's the same system. And it really depends on where you are in life as what might be suitable for you. Um, so it should be a, p a personal thing. Um, 
through these courses, we're going to have more detail around what this means and so you can make a decision around what's right, what's right for you. Thanks for listening.